Well, that's what we came for, honey. I hope we're going to see some big cats like that tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome back to my animation channel, thanks very much for joining me. In this video we're going to cover how I worked with the voiceover talent in my movie The Paint on Safari. Once again if you have not done so already please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. When I started this movie I thought I could do all the voices. Um, then as I went further into it I realized I definitely need help. I thought I could do initially all the different accents and even do the female voices quite naively I thought that but uh, reality has proved otherwise as I've gone on it's become clear I, I did need some help so I needed to find some voice talent and this video covers how I went about that. So where do you find VO talent? Where do you find voiceover talent for your animated movie? To start with, I only needed the two voices, initially the pilot Mike and the game ranger Moses. The painter, the main character in the movie, actually doesn't talk, so he's easy. But of all the voices in the movie, the game ranger Moses is the most important as he's throughout the entire film. He's going to be the thread that runs through the whole film. From part one, the, the opening, to part eight, the close, um, he'll, he, Moses will be there. So he was the most important important role to fill and some of the other voices like Mike the pilot are only in the beginning and the end scene uh, part one and eight. For Moses I needed a black African voice. I met Russell Machemwa whilst down in Franchuk outside Cape Town and really liked him immediately. He's a, a fellow ex-Zimbo like myself and very nice guy. We, we tend to be very nice people from there. He's also a creative person working in the hospitality industry but is interested in animation, backgrounds, drawing, painting, etc. So we had a few common connections. So when it came to asking to voice, I contacted Russell and he kindly agreed to voice Moses, knowing that this would be a long-term agreement um, as this movie will be taking years to make. So luckily enough, I, I got Russell on board and after a bit of testing and fine-tuning, we, we got the voice voice of his character Moses just right and uh, working with Russell has been a breeze ever ever since. I message Russell his lines and he records several versions on his phone and messages the audio files back to me and this has worked very well. There's a funny story the scene where his character Moses is shouting at Frankie the lion who's trying to devour the paint up in the tree. I'm here to go outside and do that in the street and shout Frankie Frankie very loudly and he did that several times and it worked out really well um, but he said that uh, it was quite funny because he, he he thinks that the people in the street must have thought this was a madman Frankie Frankie hey Frankie go go away Frankie go away hey Frankie you yeah. go so Russell is an amateur at this, but um, he's definitely going out of his way to get the voice of Moses right. What's important for the voice of a character is it's consistent. And with his voice, Moses being the thread throughout the whole movie, he's managed to keep him consistent. So that's that's been a, a big win. Once again, thanks very much for joining my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you around here again soon. All the best.